Hello everyone, it's Lauren Dar, International Association of Pet Fashion Professionals founder, joining you today. I am sharing with you our latest um, tool from the Pet Fashion Professionals organization, and it is, ta-da, our latest edition of the Pet Business Planning Almanac. It's a 2016 version. Um, we've changed the name slightly to be more representative of what the book um, entails and what it represents. And it really is meant to be one of those books that, you know, it's not something that you just read and put down um, because it has so many different things in here that it's meant to, like, get ragged and be worn out by the, by the end of the year, by the end of 2016, have all these pages dog-eared and things like that. Um, because it includes so many things in here that can help you with your marketing and your business planning processes. And I am thumbing through here because I want to find the table of contents for you and let you know some of the things that are in here. So there are many different articles in the Pet Business Planning Almanac, and um, those tend to be articles on... Um, using different things in your marketing activities to help promote your company and your brand. And there are other sections in the almanac of information that's been culminated and put together so that you'll have it together in one handy dandy little package um, to be able to reference on a regular basis. For example, that we have pet holidays and the pet holidays are in the pet fashion or pet business planning almanac by date, by week, and by month. Those are great to have for social media posts, um, marketing planning, promotions, and sales planning. Doesn't matter what kind of company you are. If you are a, a pet business, that's wonderful. It, even if you aren't a pet business, but your company um, you know, wants to promote supporting some kind of pet holidays, it's a great tool for you. We also have in here a listing of odd holidays. There are media and publications. There's a list in here for that to show you what are the trade publications and the trade media in the pet industry itself. There's also a listing of trade shows, conferences, and events that are pertinent to the pet industry. We have a listing of fashion weeks because of course our organization being pet fashion professionals. <laughs> um, we include that in there also. There's a listing also of different organizations in the pet industry that are helpful. And um, one thing that people love and buy the Pet Business Planning Almanac for is we also have, I have a co-author, Ellen Zucker, with me on this book. And she is what I call the Pet Fashion Astrologer. Or I should say pet business astrologer now. But she does a fantastic job of doing an overview for the year of a business planning. She breaks every month down to what to look for from an astrological perspective. And she also um, tells you about different um, retrogrades and um, you know pet fashion as it relates to astrology and things like that. It's just jam-packed with all kinds of information from Ellen in here. And so you might be like, why is astrology in a pet business planning book? Well, this is very loosely based on Ben Franklin's almanacs. And in his almanacs, he had the phases of the moon because those types of things affect us. Um, you know, and, and there's scientific evidence for this, by the way. So, um, you know, don't start commenting to me about, you know, my being Looney Tunes. So, um, anyway, there's scientific evidence for it. And since it's based on the almanacs that people like Ben Franklin did, I wanted to make sure that we included the planetary element. And so, it's in the Pet Business Planning Almanac, and it's available on Amazon. It's under 10 bucks. It's some of the best 10 bucks that you'll spend all year long. You'll use it every day, dog ear it mark it up, do whatever you need to have it be a handy tool and helpful to you in your business planning process.